Hi, uh, Jonathan York from Bay Financial Partners, uh, looking at investment markets. Um, another week and more sort of Trump uh, controversy out there, uh, sort of ramp, really ramping up um, the, uh, the trade tariff talks with uh, China. Uh, now talking about a further $200 billion worth of trade tariffs going on Chinese goods. Um, that's obviously spooked the markets a little bit. Uh, the Dow's off around 300 points this morning, pretty much wiping out the gains for this year. A really you know, sort of very interesting because the Chinese have come up with a different set of figures um, and sort of taking into account the US sort of investment taking place in China from US companies and everything, they don't think it's actually a deficit but it's actually uh, a surplus. Uh, so again, you know, very interesting, uh, you know, sort of play on numbers and it's just going to be interesting to see how this sort of plays through. Um, Trump really seems sort of hell bent on this issue, and it's just going to say going to be very interesting to see, uh, you know, how they try and sort of break the stalemate, if you like. You know, at the moment it's sort of tip for tap. You know, Xi Jinping is sort of coming out to, with the, you know, sort of retaliatory uh, uh, sort of comments, and you know, really sort of tip for tap tariffs going through between uh, uh, the U.S. and uh, and China. That doesn't even take into consideration, obviously, the issues he's got uh, with Mexico, uh, with Canada, and also the EU. You know, I'm bubbling away underneath this, you know, certainly with Mexico and in China, uh, you know, they're imposing tariffs on uh, the sort of agricultural products, which I say is, you know, a lot of uh, Trump's sort of core um, support base. And, uh, you know, certainly those farmers are going to be hit pretty hard. You've got midterm elections coming up in November. So say it's just going to be very interesting to see how this all sort of plays through. And obviously as well, we've still got uh, the immigration issue as well and, uh, you know, sort of uh, um, pictures uh, this week of, uh, you know, uh, children being separated from their parents at the border has really been pretty horrific and have uh, really sort of attracted uh, worldwide condemnation. Um, even Trump's own wife has sort of come out and uh, asked for his administration to just readdress the policy and just look at what's going on. Uh, that, again, that's been backed up by all the living uh, first ladies at present. And I'd say it's just going to be interesting to see if Trump actually listens because at the moment, again, he's sort of hell bent on that sort of immigration and again, sort of pig headedness and just going through and uh, doesn't really care what anyone else thinks. But certainly, the imagery of a, a two year old child being separated from the parent at the border, you know, is really pretty horrific and, you know, has, has really drawn some pretty stark condemnation from, uh, from around the world. Back to the U.S. economy and, uh, you know, housing starts, uh, you know, again, pretty strong out there, um, 11 year high, um, you know, that's just a further evidence there that the U.S. economy is really pushing on at a pretty good rate. You've got pretty good growth, but now sort of, you know, against that sort of uh, backdrop, you know, of a pretty, pretty strong economy, you've got the potential uh, harm and conflict from the, uh, from the potential trade wars that, you know, Trump seems to be igniting uh, on, a, on a global front. You know, just how will that uh, impact the economy? Brexit's still rumbling along and again, very little progress seems to be made. And, you know, the European uh, um, Union now is coming out and making a, a few sort of noises and a few comments that, you know, Britain really needs to sort itself out 
and you really, you know, get its act together and, uh, and come up with a, you know, a proposal that is sort of acceptable to everyone so they can move forward. You know, if not, potentially you've got a hard Brexit uh, next March and that really could be pretty damning for the UK economy. Just as a side note as well, you've got uh, the new Italian government starting to sort of flex its muscle and uh, you know, come up with a few interesting comments re uh, immigration and it's just going to be say, interesting to see how it sort of all plays through. Here in New Zealand, getting very tight, you should check those KiwiSaver balances. Uh, you have to get that sorted out by the end of June in order to get that maximum tax credit. So if you're unsure on what those numbers are, call us on 0800 867 323. Also as well, it looks like Genesis have got a retail bond offer in the uh, marketplace, um, and that will be replacing the, the GPL FAs. Uh, they're currently uh, paying around, uh, well, they were issued at uh, 6.19 on the interest rate. Um, the new bond uh, minimum rate will be 4.6. Um, indication sort of ranges around sort of 4.63 to 4.83. Um, you know, that's going to be a pretty big saving for Genesis on their interest rate payment. Um, you know, it gives, maybe gives a, a sort of clearer indication as well of which way interest rates are heading. Um, you know, so they're going to get their funding in now at a pretty good rate as interest rates potentially look to move up over the next sort of 12 to 18 months. Now, if you are interested in that or have those GPLFAs, uh, call us on 0800 867 323 or go to the website www.bayfinancialpartners.co.nz. So, you know, if you are looking for income options, so, you know, there's, there's plenty of alternatives out there, um, call us on 0800 867 323 or go to the website www.bayfinancialpartners.co.nz for lots of interesting articles. We'll look forward to speaking to you soon.